Any other person signed up? Mr. This McClure. This is a, an epistle and not a sermon today. <laughs> Keep it short. Henry McClure, I'm a resident of downtown Topeka. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter. I'm a resident of Shawnee County. Um, maybe Bill might be the only one to remember Charles, Charles Schultz. <laughs> These young men might not. But if you, if you think about the analogy of Lucy holding the football and Charlie Brown, that's what it's like to be a developer in Topeka, Kansas. And Topeka or Shawnee County, is, or more Topeka, is, is Lucy moving that football. And, um, you know, Charlie Brown just doesn't know any better. He keeps thinking, well, maybe this time she won't move the football. And there's a couple of things I would like to talk about, and, and there's a JETO meeting coming up. And um, I've got grave concerns about a, a deal that I've got going on the boulevard. And um, the pressure that Lucy's put on us now. And two years later, and, and so I'm not the spokesman for the owner of the shopping center. I sold him the shopping center in 2001 that the Mace Rich company, my old company worked for, developed in the 60s. Um, and I've been a broker for him ever since. I brokered uh, uh, the mainline printing deal and uh, I've assisted him in the, the development of that property. But I'm not his spokesman. I'm, I'm Henry McClure, a real estate broker, my own business. So I recommended to him to unlike me, play by the rules. Because uh, I think that uh, if you have a contractor in Go Topeka, uh, well, I still think a, an individual ought to be able to come to the body politic and present deals. I, I, I just think that's my right as a citizen and a developer because we, uh, so I don't agree with certain things. A guy still got to be able to come forward and have a voice. And so, uh, uh, Sterling Scott, I, I, I just hope you guys could reach out to this guy. I'm going to send you the note that uh, he sent to Molly. And Molly uh, assured Sterling that uh, she would get with uh, the appropriate people. And I, I saw the JETO agenda, and it wasn't on it. And what has happened? And now this is just me, uh, I, haven't, I haven't looked at the plans, I, I'm just hearing. Uh, but now they've moved from 32nd Street, where we got, we had to get, uh, uh, in the 60s, we had to get KDOT to give us a traffic light. And uh, at 32nd and Topeka, to where the end of our property is, which is, you know, the, where Bennigan's and Wild Horse was, that, that main property. Well, now, uh, two years ago when I was uh, helping him as a developer, we begged the city to uh, put a traffic light there. We begged them, you know, because an extra one right in front of Wendy's. Because our, that's what our customers were telling us. You know, your property will be easier to develop if you had an extra traffic light. And not only did we get a no, we got a hell no. No, you're not going to get that light. Just forget about it. So we were then able to make two real estate deals anyway based on, you know, the first guy had so much uh, juice and legs and everybody wanted him that the other guy coming right next to him. We, so we have two deals in place and we got them done without the additional traffic light. So the, the economics of the deal two years later would be different or it would be two years in the in the future in the past we would have got more money for the deals with the traffic light so not only is, uh, is Lucy telling us to put the traffic light in today they're telling us to go way out on Topeka Boulevard and at the owner's expense just because we got these deals we're going to bring back the boulevard at our expense and it's way too late. So I said, Sterling, this is, uh, 
you ought to request some money th through Jetto. You need to call Molly and do it right. How do you, how, how, do, how does the individual, how do we do things different in this community? Um, and I'm gonna tell you, there's a fellow named Howard Paul. I was talking to him the other day and he's been a very successful real estate developer. One day, one year he did 65 Walgreens in the Kansas City metropolitan area. Boom. He did 14 deals in Kansas. And it seems like when he did the deals in, in Topeka, it was, you know, everything came to a grinding hold. He had to sue a couple of times. It's just like, imagine trying to do 65 deals in Topeka at once. I'm still fighting to get a Pizza Hut deal. It's almost going on two years out on 29th in California. I mean, there's some, there were, this is broken. But here's what Howard was telling me the other day. We lost another Brahms deal up on Highway 24. He had another Brahms, so Brahms wanted to come with two stores, bigger impact. He lost the deal because he couldn't get it through the engineering. And you know, he's got, he's done well. And I'm going to stop you right there. Is that city or county you're talking engineering? Well, we're all in the county. No. Are you Your talking? district. No, no. But are you, when you say engineering, are you asking? City. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. Yes, sir. All right. You can proceed. Okay. I, I'm not here to pick on you guys. I'm here to tell you. I just want to clarify if, if you're, hey, if you're cool. lamenting about the city of Topeka or Shawnee County. I ain't blaming Shawnee County, right. but we're all one community. We are. It Go seems ahead. like a, especially when it comes to buying hotels, at least there's a voice of reason. Thank you. And a guy that can identify that a garden, a flower bed is not economic development, I applaud you, thank you. So back to, uh, back to Howard. So Howard has some interest in some banks and he's talking to a couple of them and he finds out that there's 11 deals that were not made due to not being able to get building permits in our community. And I, I, I don't know the, the background against those deals, but Howard, Howard's not gonna lie to me. He's a good, he's a good dude. And, but Lucy, um, Lucy moving that football today, and Charlie Brown actually here is trying to play by the rules. I'm, hey, look, don't be guilty by association knowing me. So go through, go through the process. And it's a shame that individual people, especially, I'm going to go back onto this, 1.9 million in overhead to run a $5 million grant. It's, this is wrong. And the longer everybody knows about it, it you, if you're gonna keep condoning something wrong, so let's, let's take, take, just take one more step on go Topeka. And, and it starts off with choose Topeka, and it goes all the way up to the overhead. If you looked at Shawnee County like a mall, and I, I've got this mall thing, it's the way I grew up in the real estate business. And all we did was attract businesses. So if we, we've got the anchors in place, so what we need to do is we need to fill up the middle. That's why we need to do 100 little deals. And 100 little people coming in here, you know, begging like uh, Oliver Twist for his gruel. You know, please, uh, help me. We gotta, we gotta change how we're doing things. And it's not, and, I, and I'm going to tell you one thing that's very serious and I'm very concerned about. Over, over my lifetime, uh, I've, I've created a media company to help promote my real estate business. Well, I started investing more of my uh, money into my media business to help uh, my business, uh, but also help uh, do media work for my clients. And and then let's let's just talk about my First Amendment rights. Uh, the other day I made a video and I guess it got a bunch of views and a bunch of attention. 
and it goes back to this choose Topeka thing. I walked down into city council and the police chief pulled me out of the meeting and said, hey, you can't talk about this choose Topeka anymore on your social media. And now I like this police chief because he, he might have been my only friend down at the Travelers. He vacated that thing. We got, I mean, the Topeka Police Department and I honestly will tell you, I don't think the police chief was really talking to me in uh, his official capacity. I thought it was a friend. But as, you know, as the thing marinated, I got to thinking about it because then it became a little unsettling with me. And I had made a video. So we went back in and we shook hands and were friends and, and I, I asked him to step back out with me and I go, was it my video about the buses over at uh, the Ramada? And he said, yeah, that's what it was about. He, he said that, um, sorry, excuse me. He said that he had to use some resources because it, it hit the federal level. So uh, I did write a letter I tried to request a meeting with the city manager and the police officer because my First Amendment rights shouldn't be violated. I shouldn't be told. It made me a little nervous for my safety. Did why I, you got a guy in uniform telling you what you can and can't say in this community? So uh, it's tough to fight the system in Topeka. So. Is was he was he following direction? Was Lucy <laughs> again holding the football of, of my public media? <clears throat> so I I'm I'm coming to you guys as a voice of reason. So I'm going to send you uh, Sterling's request. I'm not his spokesman. I'm just sharing with you some inside information. It would be terrible, that's your district, I think, the boulevard. It would be terrible to lose those deals. But it's really bad, it's really bad to put so much pressure on the developer two years down the line. It's like, we got you now, we got you. And now you gotta do all this to let you play. And, and that's not fair. We're trying to help Topeka we're trying to do deals, and it's so tough to do it when you've got an organization that controls all the money that's really just a self-serving organization to make sure that they get, they stay in power. So uh, start considering the little guy, um, please. We can. If we can just get more people to say yes, the little guys, we can, we can change Topeka. And somebody has to be a voice for the little people. I'll, go, I'll be that guy, I'll try. I'll go down in flames, completely ostracized from you know going against the greater Topeka partnership. How can you do that? Who could you be? Who do you think you are? Well, I'm somebody that doesn't think the money's being spent appropriately because that's my money. Somebody's got to stand up for that. So thank you. Hope it didn't turn into a sermon. I hope it was just an epistle. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Henry, you might be best served if you contact the city public works, city manager, city council members, or nine of them, and the mayor. Those are the people that you seem to have. Uh, the mayor has not called me back in two years. Our mayor has no respect for me. That's okay. Maybe I've earned that. I know the drill. You know, I've been in real estate for 44 years. I'm here trying to talk to a higher power. I appreciate you bringing it to us, but I think that a lot of your it's issues a deaf ear. are across the street. But it's a deaf ear, but thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment? Any administrative comment? Any department head or employee that has issues or announcements?